hey guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here thank you for stopping by thank you for tuning in my name is jennifer and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel i bring you good news remember in my last video not really my last video the video i talked about the earth and care visa and i did promise i was going to give you an update if there are any updates and also i did mention that um the uk government was going to commence so they said they were going to start early this 2022 so now the good news is the date is out and then it's in this february so i'm going to be sharing with you guys the date they're going to commence this visa also i did receive messages from people asking about um asking me about the care courses where they can get um, such certificates from and um, today i'll be mentioning that i'll be sharing with you guys as well where you can get this care certificates and the care certificate providers and also there are some free courses you can do online that can still give you the certificate but guys if you have still not watched that video at this time i'm going to put a link in the description box below and then so you can watch it because i did mention about the requirements i mentioned about um what you need to know about the healthcare visa i did explain the meaning of um, healthcare care care as what they do and all that so guys without further ado let's get right into the video <laughs> government had announced that they're going to start in um, february 15th 2022 just a few days away guys please remember i also said that um for those people without health care background you don't have any qualification in, in health or you don't have any you don't have any experience in care don't fret don't worry you yeah, can apply man. but because um the competition is really high a lot of people are um, applying for this position as, a, as an healthcare assistant and they want to go into the uk through this route so the competition is high it's not only in nigeria all over africa people want to go through this route if in fact even in the eu people are applying through this route as well yes. in the uk they're also applying so that they can use this um, same visa to stay back so the competition is really high so i don't think an employer will want to consider you first without any background but don't get me wrong here in the uk if you're already in the uk you do not have any qualification for you to um, apply or to be an healthcare assistant that's if you're already in uk but because it's overseas now and there's this cos involved that certificate of sponsorship involved so they will, might not want to consider you first because there are a lot of people nurses doctors healthcare professionals other healthcare professionals trying to apply to this route with experience in fact imagine you we have a nurse with 15 years experience and you is just a banker without no knowledge in healthcare nothing and we want to weigh the options and then they will take the ones with health care experience so for you to be in this competition it's best for you to do health care courses and also update your cv after doing these courses update your cv sell yourself so that when they see it when they see that you've done courses and it's recent they will consider you to you will beat the competition i'm going to be sharing so, with you guys today the courses where you can get these online courses and the certificate as well and one of them is the free um the, i checked on google and i found that there's this um carecourses.com they offer free courses so if you do not have money to do the other ones but which i feel like it's a small fee you can still do the free courses as well and they'll give you a certificate so i'm going to leave the information you need in the description box another one is the care skill academy this one is for a fee this is not free um they have two options you see that you do a monthly fee of um, monthly payment of 47 p that's 47 pence so if you want to multiply it in your currency it's 0 0.47 it's not up to a pound so it's a monthly subscription where you'll be doing courses online every month uh, or you can do it as a go pay as a go you just do one course for 99p that's 0 0.99 pence and then you can do that pay as you go so you can either either major in um care which is end of life or you can do um learning disability care of learning disability or care in learning disability something like that that include autism etc or you can do another one which is um dementia so anyone that interests you you can sort of like major in one you can do end of life if you want to work in care homes and dementia units you can do dementia if you want to work in um learning disability homes you can do the learning disability so you can know this and then get um experience or idea of what they're, they're all about so but i would advise that you do the courses that 
that they will teach you everything that you need to know about care so you will not be limited imagine you doing only end of life learning and you do not have end of life um care jobs so it will be really hard so it's best for you since you are coming from overseas it's best for you to just do courses that even if when you're looking for healthcare assistant in the hospital, you're there. When you're looking for in a care home, you're there. Or in a learning disability home, or even social care, anything. So you just do like a broad, just do everything about healthcare. That's my own advice. For the care skills academy, I mentioned, um, the benefit is that you can download your certificates. It's an e-learning, it's an online learning. You're located in London. So I'm going to leave the information in the description box so you can contact them. I did send them an email. I've not checked my email. Maybe they've responded. But anyway, that one is the CPD, CPD online college. That one is broad. It's very broad. It's for £20. Yes. And that is for 15 courses. And um, after these courses, they're going to give you like 15 CPD points and then they will give you certificates. It's very good. And the certificate is for two years. And um, they'll teach you everything that you need to know about care, everything. So I feel like this one is very good. It's just 20 pounds and including um, tax and everything. One thing they said for the CPD online college is just for 15 hours. So you do not have to wait for three years or three months. 15 hours, you're done with the uh, study and everything. So if you do have more questions or if you want to know more, more about them, I'm going to leave the information in the description below, like I mentioned. Another one is the HSGE Learning. That one is still an online um, learning site. You learn and then they're going to teach you for £20 as well. So they're going to teach you all you know about care, starting from the uh, understanding about how to be a carer, communication, confidentiality in fact everything that you need to know about care so they would teach you that located in london as well so i'll leave their contact in the description that box is the high speed training this one is still 20 pounds and then it's fully accredited by cpd and i forgot to mention if you want to know there are a lot of them a lot of them but please check for the ones that are accredited so you don't end up doing courses that the uk government does not uh, recognize so do courses that are accredited by the cpd or that are recognized by the c or registered and recognized by the uk government so that you have their certificates and then you update it in your cv and so on. so this one for the high speed training is just for 12 hours the difference between this one and also for the other cpd is cpd um, online college is for 15 hours but this one is um for 12 hours training and i'm going to still give you certificates you can download your you download the record of achievement at the end of your course that's your certificate when you people have asked me about how much healthcare assistance receive in the uk um normally um they receive between nine to ten pounds per hour but for this healthcare visa i think one of the requirements for an organization is they should be able to pay you about twenty thousand four hundred and eighty pounds annually so that would amount to like ten pounds twenty or ten pounds fifty there but i'm not sure is that ten pounds twenty or ten pounds fifty per hour which i still feel like is a good thing if you do the math that would be like 10 points, 10, let's say 10 pounds times, let's say in Naira, exchange with 750 or 780. So that would, that's, that's just do the math. It's good. I still feel like it's good. And then the exposure, the everything, you, it's just good. So guys, please do not let this opportunity pass you by. Do not sleep on this opportunity. Do this thing. This is 2022. Do things that will better our life. Do things that will that will up our game so just try i know people will be scared that oh i do not have any so is it worth even trying i don't like personally i don't like to waste opportunity whenever i see opportunity i go for it so go for it i feel like is it that they give you or they don't give you right so go for it guys so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in my next video please don't forget to like share this video and subscribe thank you